There we go. Okay. We're live! Welcome back, everybody. We're back in City Skylines. Um, we're having a town hall meeting today, and uh, there's some stuff we got to discuss. Okay. Here, let me get our soundtrack of the day pulled up first. How y'all doing? Happy Sunday. I don't know about you, but uh, this is my only full day off. Uh, and I love it so much. Uh, but anyways, all right. All right, city is loaded. What are we listening to today? Jazz or lo-fi? What about this? What about it? Oh, dude, the Drake AI song, low-key. The Drake AI song is crazy. <laughs> Not what I needed, though. I need a... Oh, Luxury Lounge. Now we're cooking. No shit, this man. Nice. All right. Let's go ahead and check back in over here. Uh, the abandoned buildings uh, have been an issue since last night. I don't know what's going on. Uh, it's really just like the, I think it's like our commercial and our industrial industry, uh, our industrial industry. Um, but I think it's like our commercial and industrial areas are just not balanced. So that is, uh, our issue over there. But it's okay, we'll figure it out. That's what we gotta clean up. And so this is kind of what I wanted to have this whole town hall meeting about uh is like do we do we continue this city like should we take it to 100k like that's how do i can i put like a pull up am i able to do that let's see um chat settings uh how do i do a Oh. Switch to non mod set. No. I'm trying to do a poll. Do we continue to 100? Okay. Can I like pin the message? I wanna. Let's see. Pin this message. Boom. Do we continue to 100K? That's. Yo! That's how you do it. Perfect, because we're at 78,000 right now, and I really, I, I would love to see this city, like, flesh out to be a 100,000 person city. Um, but also, like, I, like, if you guys just want to see, like, a new city and, like, just start, like, from scratch, like, with the knowledge that we now have, we could do that, too. You know, so it's either way, I'm a happy man. Uh, we're about to launch another rocket. We're almost there. Um... Can't see it on the runway yet, or with the launch pad, I guess. It's still, uh, they're still building it. <laughs> Just tucked away. Um, how many visitors do they get? Zero visitors? Well, I guess the rocket's under construction. Damn, that is expensive to upkeep. Okay, uh, like, should we even try balancing this over here? I feel like we just need to go to the Vermont district and just keep expanding. Just kind of let this kind of work itself out. Almost. You know? Maybe put an industrial area down here. Look at that. You know? At least help them out. God, Pool Guys Providence. It's such a nice little area over there. In the suburbs. Let's go ahead and back in Vermont uh, with our new train station. So we're gonna we're gonna treat it like we're going to 100k. But I I would love y'all's input, like for real, uh, as far as like if we should continue. Uh, don't want to zone like that. If we should continue to 100,000 population, uh, or if we should uh, should uh, just terminate, uh, not necessarily terminate, but leave this one. Uh, leave this one alone, uh, and then just move on to the next. Let's see. 
put a little store on the corner right there because I want I don't want to like have this be imbalanced you know but like the train station is also kind of the point of these industrial areas being here and look at that look how well that is like working out all the trucks coming in damn there's a lot of people going in and out Operating normally. Can we see how many like people? <gasps> Light train traffic. Alright. Let's see. Could expand more in Apple Lodge too. It as much as possible, I guess, over on this side. Just right now. Oh, damn, he almost hit that. What is that? Tractor. The real cereal. The real cereal. They have a job available. Hey, if anybody needs a job, they're hiring. Huh. That's funny. The real cereal. Over in the Zen Zone. Well, that means that we have a pretty good connection. So we should start to see these like commercial issues kind of dissipate. Another store, not as big on this side. There we go. What is this guy saying? It sure is. It, oh, Amanda Graham. It's sure is expensive to live in this area. I hope the mayor balances the living costs with good services. Cape Hope. Is it really that expensive to live in Cape Hope? That's fair. Not really, but like you're paying taxes just the same as anybody else. I don't know what you're really complaining about, honestly. What is this? Home of the stuff store. Okay. Let's just destroy that. What if we put what is Capo? Forestry industry. Put one on the corner, and then put like a, a small commercial next to it. I think the people would fuck with that. I think right there, you know. I think that's good. Gives them something to build towards. Let's see, we can go ahead and zoom that. I don't know if it'll. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we can build another one here. Good morning, everybody. What a beautiful sunrise. Where is the sunrise? Small business owners always get the shaft. Wait, hold up. Okay, so Drew's Dami Mommy people are happy. Uh, and Slick Rick's Reserve. Small business owners always get the shaft. You literally just... Sabrina, what are you talking about? I... Come on. Come on. We tax everybody. <coughs> okay, so what... Ah, oh, damn it. It is all low density in here. Mm. 
We can change our tax policy. That's okay. You know what? We'll switch it around. We'll give him that. And we'll also... Double their sales so that way they give us more tax revenue. In theory. Oh yeah, and we wanted to automate the tolls in... I think it was Foggy Park or Drew's Dung. Did we automate? Yes. That, I think that helped our traffic like a lot too. 74%. Yeah, so we're still pushing. We could always make this like a two lane exit. What the fuck is happening here? Why is this? Oh, because this is a two lane. That's why it's slowing everybody down. So this needs to become a one way. Uh, and not just make it a, a one way fucking road. Is that not a thing? Am I tripping? Like, how is this? A, that's a two lane. I don't have any. So where are these people getting caught up? Why are you motherfuckers merging right there? This is so weird to watch. Okay, but why? I think it's this. Yeah. yeah that's a hmm. How do we deal with this? First, we destroyed the buildings. I'm just a master of traffic. Put this right here. And so instead of this, right there with it. And then just come over here. So this should alleviate that. Some? Maybe? Is this the- is this turn tripping him up? Who should I call if nobody picks up a dead body? Well, you don't have a dead body, so... Well, there's a lot of people around you that do, it looks like. I mean, don't know what's going on. Like we're we're having to having to destroy buildings, but we're still growing in population, which is kind of weird, you know. But I mean, hey, I'll I'll keep going. Let's see, we can probably build some more. Not enough goods to sell. Yeah, what? You're surrounded by an industrial area. Hmm. 
another house over there. And another one right here. Should I put someone's house next to the park? I got none. Another little one right there. Another little one right there. We don't have like any demand for housing right now. But I'm building it. Somebody's got to live to supply the factories with workers. <laughs> Cue the communist theme song. Communist theme song, the Soviet anthem, excuse me. Okay. It's a casual Sunday, okay. I guess we're continuing to 100,000 people. Uh, at least, as we're going, my domestic AI is behaving badly today. Your domestic AI? Is that what that high-tech housing does? We gotta clean up the pile of police. I thought we needed industry over here. We introduce high tech industry. Commercial. See, but then this guy is saying not enough buyers for products. Maybe it's just a type of business. On Drew's, uh, Drew's little housing area over here. Oh, dude! Very cool! Drew's sma- Yo, I gotta send him a picture of that. Holy shit. <laughs> this is what you're missing. That's so funny. He'll get a kick out of that. That's actually a really nice house. Got like a little patio in the backyard. That's it. I mean, these people, whoever lives in the Beachwood residence can definitely see everything that you do. But, you know, it's cool. So we're gonna dezone that. We have no demand for anything right now. Are we just in shambles? really not doing great right now like overall with all these like abandoned buildings like they're gonna build back build back better but I don't know fuck hey, why are they not using this room another offshoot so nobody's still gonna take it okay what about from here we take that okay instantly better now we at least have a tra uh, jam over here. Just make the jam a different place. So that this jam is not as bad. Theoretically. See, but now this one just needs a separate lane of just going like.
Look too steep. Get the fuck out of here. There's no way. So I can bring this one down. Hold on. Pause. I wanted to look at least decent. Surprised that doesn't need another support. That's better at least than it was. Like significantly better than it was. See, cause now we have like multiple funnels going in there. See, so they could get on all the way back here. They could hop on uh, Robert Street or Robert's Bridge. Um, let's see, wait. Customized time, manually pin it or industry. Yeah, there we go. Okay, sorry. But yeah, so we've got. They could get all the way. What is, what is happening over here? Oh. Okay. Sorry. Here it is. So they have the funnel all the way from back here, from Adams Highway onto Robert Street to Robert's Bridge. Let's see if we follow one of the cars. So he's going down this way. Interesting. Oh, he's probably dropping off at the harbor. Interesting, so a lot of these guys need to get right there. <clears throat> hmm. So how could we divert some of that traffic? And we don't have a need for anything right now. some landscaping so I think and I also learned this recently too I think you have to left click under the existing road just for the sake of doing that. that looks nice and then so we'll continue we could give them an alternate route just to basically go around this so where is it I'm 
think we can just kind of like go along this coast right here and just kind of like landscape that for what we need. So I'm going to go off like right here. I learned this trick like so uh, you right click wherever you want like whatever level you want to uh, have and then you just like uh, left click from there as far as like making it happen just to make that easy for you. Still sitting at just over 78,000 people, which is good. You know, it could be better. Drew! Welcome in, bud. Had to make a new profile to chat? Wait, new profile means a new follower? Bro, we're up at 95 followers. Big boy. Big boy. Let's go. Dude, here, I'll, we'll check in on your zone here in just a second. I got to finish up this landscaping I got going on right here. Uh, I'm trying to fix up some traffic ATM. Uh, this should be good. I just wanted to get you partnered. Dude, I need it. I'm, like, so close. I'm at, like, 2. I think I'm at, like, 1.8 average viewers, I want to say. Like it's something like that. So, but I need three average, three average viewers, and I'm above the follower count. So, like, it's it's all about the consistency, bro. You know, and like, that's the thing. Like, we're just having a good time. So we can't lose. Either way, look at this traffic diversion king. Nope. Uh, that's actually. Uh, we need a slope between here. Um, here, okay. Let me build this. We gotta, we might have to destroy the road here. I don't think we need to actually do this. We need a slope right here. This is what I want. I want it to come in at this like four way, kind of like right before that. Just terraforming the land. Dude, the city is busy as hell, bro. We're up at 78,000 people. Like 78,000 people in one place. Crazy. Putting numbers up. Boom. Alright, so hopefully this will help divert some of that. We've got a lot of issues going on right now. Not gonna lie. Drew's Dami Mommy. <laughs> what a blessed place to be. Uh, we did add this office. I don't know if you were here last time uh, when we added this office. Uh, Colossal Orders offices. And uh, I will say I did have to redistrict uh, this half uh, of the district over to uh, Wolfie just based on uh, natural resources that were available. God damn, bro. So many people. Dude, your district's killing it though. 46 cents uh, per meter squared. Uh, pretty good on traffic overall. Nice little farming district. Um, yeah, I figured it, 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 it honestly, it raised your land value, like, per meter squared, because, like, uh, this district was, like, very undeveloped for a while. Right, just gotta go through here. Destroy all of this. Our economy is not doing great right now, I'm not gonna lie. Uh... I feel like it's gonna springboard back eventually. I'm saying that with a lot of confidence, though. Uh, <laughs> you know, I don't, I don't know for sure what's happening, especially over here. Like, 
I know they need more commercial, but like, I don't know. I feel like they just don't need anything. What they need is to get the fuck out of my house! I just destroyed another one on accident. We're definitely de-developing a little bit. What if we... You know what I think it is? They're too smart. They're literally too smart for their industry. No, they have industry 4.0. Do they just need more offices? I think they just need more offices. We have faith in our government. We're in a recession. We're definitely... Let's see. We can actually... Dude, this is something cool. I think you'll appreciate this. We can actually see... So this is our population change. We've definitely... We're doing great... And then we've kind of like healed out, you know? So we've just gotten so fucking big. Like, it's just kind of like. Ah! And so we gain like about like a thousand people every hour of game time. But like, it's not much. That's why I was saying. So I'm trying to. I, this is my whole like uh, decision is like, do we continue here? City treasury, city budget. Yeah, dude, look. See, we were doing great over here. Shot up. To five million and then we just kind of leveled out and see pullback soon too much pump yeah no kidding but look at our yeah look at our city value it just like shot up and then just kind of like evened out it with our population as well um but that's the thing do we continue this city to grow to a hundred thousand people uh or do we just like call it and just go on to the next city with our current knowledge like that's what i'm trying to figure out right now our happiness overall bro overall what 85 85 percent happiness dude that's a happy society ever since 2024 bro all the way dude we're 30 years in that's so crazy commercial zone industrial zone offices prisoners i didn't even know we could have prisoners but Anyways, let's get back to it. I feel like I'm happy in this little Norway. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I feel like I'm running like a pretty good society overall. But, um... I see, it's just like all these abandoned houses. Like, people are leaving. Like, we don't have any demand. Like, I don't know what's happening. Like, we're just kind of, kind of stagnant. I don't know if that's because I haven't been like growing like over here. What is this? Not enough raw materials. Districted for forestry. What do you mean? These idiots. Absolute goofballs. No, I think it's just the recession, honestly. I, I don't know what it is. Our economy is just in a downturn. Look, we're about to launch another rocket. Space program's still going. Even if everybody's... Everybody's leaving. But... God damn. Just don't have anybody that wants to. I literally just bro pocket I don't know man like I feel like it's just so built out like it's so much to manage Elon over here dude right I know I'm literally with the Twitter coming down uh, up here But I, I like, should we just start doing like massive renovations and just say fuck the population and just make it like a very like nice, like clean city and like really like clean up. We can clean up the city, maybe not get to a hundred thousand in population. Cause it looks like realistically that might not be the best goal to have. So maybe we could stick with this city 
but like maybe having a hundred thousand as our population is not necessarily the goal but we can just make it like the best fucking city possible you know what i mean i truly feel you have the entertainment factor to be a streamer full time this is really dude i appreciate that i really do like genuinely appreciate that um because like i like as much as i like say like oh i, I don't want to be a streamer full time i would love to be a streamer full time bro because like who the fuck would not want to play video games and just hang out have a good time you know what i mean like bro i'd be doing this shit if i if i could do this for a living i'd be on here like all day long sun up to sundown i'd be like on some like asmin gold type shit like 16 hour streams like on some like sweaty gamer vibes bro i don't <laughs> i don't give a fuck i would love that Are you kidding me i'm like i'm an, i'm enough of a fucking nerd to do that i, I would love that <laughs> You have, look at this, we have no demand for anything. Bro, RuneScape vibes. Dude, you gotta check out my homie Creamy Streamies. I'll have to send you a link to him next time he's live. He literally streams RuneScape all the time. He's pretty good at it, from what I uh, what I understand too. I'm, I've never played uh, RuneScape, honestly. Um, can't run a good business, just get out of my city. That's all I'm gonna say. Maybe we need to dezone some of this. Like, I don't know. We'll definitely just clean it up. I think I think that's what we're gonna do right now. District needs better schools and entertainment for demand. Ah. Uh. Let's see. Well, dude, your your place is very happy on uh, parks and leisure. And with the unique buildings, I like, dude, the uh, the office and the Grand Mall. Well, the Grand Mall is in Elf Lodge now. Um, what is this over here? Oh, the Expo Center. I forgot we had the Expo Center over here. That's a cool place. Don't listen. I have no idea how this game works. <laughs> Raisin, good morning. But Drew, that that was a good point. That was a good point. I I trust you on that one. Like with having like unique stuff. Raisin, let's go check out your zone. Dude, we're having a town hall meeting and I would love your input on this too. Um, as we're checking in. Um, but we're debating between growing to 100,000 in population uh, or do we just stick with the, like, do we uh, go to a new city or we can just stick with this city but then just clean up everything. Just make it all just better and give everybody like just such a good life it's gonna be like a dystopia and they're never gonna want to leave they're never gonna want to leave ever we're just gonna lock them in here in a little box of goodness and happiness and they're just gonna love it <laughs> biggest twitch allows <laughs> dude i'm telling you when i first read the name i had to literally like go like name by name <laughs> it's like three names in one it's pretty dope but dude we're about to uh have another uh space launch over here another rocket launch this one uh is called the pocket rocket and we're uh, just getting to uh preparation stage so we got our rocket coming in look at that as the sun's hitting it what a nice little view the chirp x launch site Scientists have created a space-saving factory design. More efficient product lines are being installed as we speak. Where is that at? Charles Price, what the fuck are you... Oh, yeah. Dude, I forgot I made that tunnel. Holy fuck, dude, where's Chris? Chris would be so proud of me. Holy shit. Wait, where does this guy live? Charles Price. Besides the Franklin. Okay, so, oh, in the Chester District. Good, good, good. Cool beans, rocket launches are always good. Good. <laughs> yes. Uh, I think, so, uh, Drew, I think the goal with the launch uh, is just, like, over time. Uh, and, Raisin, if you know anything about this, please correct me. 
Um, but like over time, it just like kind of grows, like as far as like your little bar, um, like just comes from being a productive city. And then uh, when it launches, I mean, it just makes like happiness uh, for everybody because everybody sees the rocket go up into space and they see how successful we are. Dude, this is not good. What zones are these? It's a mix. Interesting. Okay, they'll come back. All in due time. I'm not going to feel bad about destroying anybody right now, but I don't want uh, too many abandoned buildings just sitting around. Even if our economy is absolutely tanking right now, it's okay. Until we start going like super negative, I'm not going to be like super worried about it. area look on raw materials good now that we had to tear down some of their neighbors you know I might as well make it look good there we go it would be cool if it brought back new items you could build with Bro, that would be wild. Like, it brings back, like, alien technology. <laughs> that would be wild. Let's see, police departments. We only have to two. I feel like I should definitely get, like, DLC for this. Or should, I mean, I'm definitely getting City Silence 2 uh, when it comes out. Underground metro station. Mmm. <coughs> Can I put this here? Is there mods for this game? Oh, dude, there's hella mods. Yeah. I like. I probably could just get them. I don't know what this does. Elevated metro station. It's for the train, right? Metro's train. I mean, that's buses that are over here. They're in blue. We really don't have a lot of bus lines. Uh, we got some going from like our cargo hub over here. Our bus, uh, what is it, cruise ship, whatever. Also, this traffic diversion did not work at all how I wanted it to. <laughs> like they're definitely still just going this way. Which is, I guess it's okay. Some of them are going that way, you know. Let's see where they go. Are they trying to get in? Here? See, look at this. This is. Oh, it's parked. Oh, these cars are parked outside. What the fuck are you doing, parked up? You're taking up traffic space, bro. I'd be so pissed. Owner Elizabeth Murray. Who's Elizabeth Murray? She's supposed to be just in this building. I guess she's in Colossal Lines. That did not work at all how I wanted it to, though. Traffic over here is a lot better. I'm glad how this worked out, because uh, we diverted a lot of traffic from like this road over here. So that way, this is all clear for the trucks that are coming out of here. Let's see, what if we made this? Is this only a two lane? It is. We need to make this a four lane. Uh, we can keep it a two way, but it's definitely got to be a four way. A four way. That's a four way. Can I upgrade this road too? No? I don't think so. <gasps> now it's working! Ay, carayu! That's all it needed. It was two lanes, bro. That's what I'm saying. So what if I went... Can 
I upgrade this to a one-way? Like, am I able to make this a one-way? It's in front of it. No, it's got to have the two-way. Which is cool. We can rock with that. But at least this allows for a merge here. Um, I guess we have to take that two-way. Yeah. Okay. Okay. That works. That works. Yeah, the double lane was the issue there because they were coming into a, like, just two lanes. So if I, like, added that other one, then these guys now are like, okay, we can come over on this side. They merge in on the left, and then these guys go in on the right, or they just alternate, it looks like. Actually. It looks like a pretty efficient intersection, honestly. Because these guys still have to take time to, like, come in and, like, go and everything. Like, and actually pull into the harbor. So we might even need another diverter. Look at this. It's just diversion central. So we're, we're going to have to do a little landscaping. That's okay. This city is about to be so fucking nice. It's going to be so nice. You're, gonna, you're not even going to believe it. You're gonna be like, how how do you even make it this nice? Oh, like how do I how do I live here? When when can I move? You can't. You can't live here. It's too exotic. It's too good. All right. Let's see, cause I don't want. Right over the abandoned building. Uh, not exactly where I wanted to take that. <laughs> Just disappeared that car. Okay. Oh, this is only a one way up here? Por qué? Uh, as much as I appreciate that, it's only a two way, so like, I'm still gonna connect it here, and then what I'm gonna do is come back and upgrade it to a four way. That way, these people could come down. We'll see if anybody actually turns left in here. So it looks like it's still only going to be used as an exit. So we should, we could probably keep this a one way. Them do a loop. Okay, so that should be better for traffic, I think. I don't know why that road, or why that one would have been destroyed? We have no demand still for anything. Like it's not necessarily that we're. I mean, we're down 4,000 a week right now. You notice there's abandoned buildings? Abandoned buildings? Where? I don't see abandoned buildings. Got all in here. Public services are now available online. What's next? 
ban sandals with socks? What do you mean? Bro, holy shit, dude. Is this the death of our city? What is happening? Bro, look, I'm about to make it like free to live here. Literally. Giving everybody major tax cuts. So hopefully that'll bring back some of our industry. Damn, we are draining money right now though. This might not be a good decision. Fuck, dude. This is messy. This is messy. Dude, we're leaking money right now. And it's barely working. It's barely working. Dude. What do you, what do you mean? Not enough fires for products! Bro, everything is falling apart right now. <laughs> what the fuck? I cut your taxes in half! You arrogant cunts! Local governments- Fuck off! Yo, what the f- Bro! The music makes it sound even worse. Bro, what the fuck? Hey, at least they... Where's James Chapman at? James Chapman over at the Neptune Media Store. About to blaze up. Never thought about how much garbage piles up in two weeks. But I don't know what to do here. Homes of tomorrow. Okay, well that's good. We got more people coming in. Very not good. Very, very not good. Why is this dude I don't I don't even know the solution to this. Other than destroy and just pray to fucking God that they come back. Mr. Stark, I'm scared! Just like one little section. Oh my god. Holy shit. It's so many. It's so many. Good god. God damn, bro. This demolition derby over here. What a great city. I would think I'm dreaming if I didn't know otherwise. Yeah, I. It's a nightmare for some of us. How? 
Did I just like put too much over here? Like, is this my fault? Riddle me this. What should we do? Congratulations. Oh, who won it? Most Attractive City Award. Is that Drew's Dommy Mommy? That is Drew's Dommy Mommy. Congratulations. As always, the richest prevail. <laughs> okay, where... I don't know what to do here, bro. It's just everybody's leaving. Everybody's leaving. We're down 44000 a week. I've lost... I've literally thrown away $700,000 in the last, like, two days. Not even. And... For what? Let me raise their fucking taxes again. These insane people. Insane people. I don't know, how, like, does it indicate why they're leaving? You know, that's... Building it was abandoned because no one was buying their product. So with the industrial areas, they're leaving because there's not enough commercial zones. And then with the commercial zones, they're not leaving because there's not enough industrial zones. Which is like, that's where the duality of how fucked the situation is. Because <clears throat> it's like... Okay, well, I, if I redistrict these, it's like I can only do a couple of them, or I, should I only do a couple of them, or should I redo the whole fucking thing? It's like, look, it's all industry in there. Like, how much of that do I really need to, like, get out, you know, to make a difference? Because I think it's mainly a commercial issue. We have a lot of industry and a lot and not a lot of commercial. Maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Build more commercial. <sighs> what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? I'm a mayor. I gotta to support my people I hear one of the chirper tours ah look at that where are they from over here over in Cape Hope nice Cape Hope is also uh, not looking great right now. Not enough raw materials. Not what I want to see. Uh, you are getting replaced. Put low density over here. Keep it consistent. Oh, that's all one right here. But then this commercial buildings. See, this is what doesn't make sense to me. Like, Home Improvement Center. Abandoned because, abandoned because there's no goods to sell. No goods to sell. But then we look at the actual districting. And it is fucking surrounded. Bro. Like, how are you going to tell me you don't have enough goods to sell when you are literally around nothing but industry? I quite frankly don't believe you. The raw, not enough raw materials, guys. These guys just straight up need to get replaced. We can't have that. another store right there. 
Alright, another raw materials issue. What are these guys district for? Forestry? It's a solvable issue, my guy. Gotta give him some little forest to fly through, you know. Where is this traffic coming in? God damn, that's a lot of traffic. Great view though. Don't worry about that later. I have heard that forestry industry uh, takes away from farmland though, uh, so definitely something to keep in mind if you ever want to uh, switch industries around, uh, just don't put a bunch in one place uh, if you plan on, oh, literally just watch them leave, um, but don't put a bunch of forestry if you ever plan on switching it over to farming. But I think if you want to go from farming to forestry, you could do that. You notice the banding building? Shut the fuck up! Just rubbing it in my face. At least we're making money again. Like, if anything, I know how to be a profitable mayor. Like, I, so, I think it's just going to take time to balance these out. And just like I guess we're just gonna have to deal with that. Like none of the residents are leaving, it's all the businesses. You know, like we're really not off that bad. Materials needed for production. Make sure trucks carrying them can reach the building. Where are they coming from? Oh, from here. Oh. Okay. That is a pretty interesting place for a harbor or for a train station. Damn, we have a rainstorm. Let's see. We just made this tunnel. Well, the tunnel's over in Drew's Dining Room, I guess. Not over in Kell's Kingdom. Um, but we uh, we definitely have an issue with these abandoned buildings. Um, it's, like, I mean, like I said, I think it's just going to take time. And just kind of rezoning. Because you see, like, every time I destroy one of the uh, industrial, like, our commercial demand comes up a little bit more. Oh, we got five people in here. What's up, everybody? Welcome in. Um, but every time I destroy the uh, industrial area, it just, like, brings our commercial demand up just a little bit. Like, low demand. Still no demand for an industrial or office. 
Oh, offices count as industrial. Interesting. Did not know that. I definitely, uh, definitely thought they counted as uh, commercial, just because they were blue. Uh, why are you cutting down all the trees from deforestation? Well, hey, look. Wait, is that why they're like abandoned? Is that like the life cycle? Uh oh. What if we put an office in this place? No, well, that's industrial. Chemically. Um, they don't have buyers. We're gonna give them buyers. Right there. another story over here you know Let's see. offices are industrial dude I, right that's what I'm saying uh, apparently Let's see. And then they're gonna build right on that though which is good. these guys don't have enough goods to sell you know what that's okay I don't think you need to be here in the first place Get out of my city! I'm gonna destroy this guy too. I mean, just because, like, you know, they're on a one way going out of town. Like, I'm not really worried about it too much. Yeah, I know. Like, that's like, uh. I don't know. It kind of makes me look at uh, Drew's Dami Mommy a little differently. Because, like, look how many offices we have over here. I thought that was all commercial I was putting in. You know, like, technically speaking, but I, I guess not. It makes sense they don't have, like, a physical product to sell. Shit. That's okay. We'll just dezone it for now. And we'll just carry on. I don't like those little like one strip ones either. Need more jobs. Uh, or is it the opposite? Uh, you know, that's I, I don't think jobs are the issue. Um I don't know how we check levels. What is levels? What I don't know what this means. Population. My cat was just saved by a smoke detector. Nice. Outside connections. Ooh. Good. Wait, so... What do they need? Do they need a train station over here? It sounds like that's what they need. Where's everybody gone? Holy shit, dude, we lost 2,000 people in population. Jesus Christ. Bro. Like, I literally can't even keep up. What am I supposed to do? Oh, I am like concerned. Let's see, what if I put a cargo harbor over here? Dude, this might be too much. This might be too much to come back from.
Like I like. Oh, dude, I ha I will say I have my own music going right now. Dude, it might be time for a new city. Cause everybody just fucking dipped, bro. Yeah, the lightning lightning kind of confirms. I think uh, city board come up with anything more modern than farming. <laughs> uh, I think it's time for a new city, boys. I'm just like. It's painful. And we can bring back everybody's like everybody's region. You know, everybody can still get a new region. All right, all right. We're going to save this one. Man. All right, society. Say look. Look at the last time. Oh wait, I, I thought it was going to show us a picture of it. Okay, save. Right, yes. Damn, bro. 78, 70, 77,000 population. Where are we capped out at? Damn! Ah. It's okay, it's okay. Alright. Where was our city at the first time? Oh, it just. <laughs> we had. 11,000 people. I just want to see where we were at. So from 4-9, this is actually, in, this is going to be interesting. So in two weeks, we went from 11.5 thousand population up to 76,000 population. 5 million. Went from 59,000 to 5 million. Let's see. I just want to see real quick what our city was like. Just to, just to get a peek. I think I'm going to grab a drink and we're going to start a new city. RIP Dummy Mommy. Hey, bro, it's a new region. You can have a new region for sure. Let's see. Okay, so this is. Wow. Damn, it was just one square. This was our city. Uh, or I think this might be four squares. But this, see, this was your city. This was Florence Park before it all became. <gasps> what a Alright, anyways, I'm gonna grab a drink real quick, give me two seconds, and then we will build a new city! To God. Every time I open up my fridge, if there's cheese in there, I'm grabbing a slice and I'm fucking eating it. Oh! 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 This is gonna be interesting. New city. Let's see. Here. Uh, yeah. Here. Pop, pop, pop. Right there. Nice. All right. So we should be up to date. I'm going to go ahead and unpin my message. Pin this message. Um. 
R.I.P. Dami Mommy. <laughs> All right. Alright, new game. Let's see, uh... Ooh! This gives us, like, a new place to start from, too. I think Two Rivers was where we were. Shady Strands. Sandy Beach. Ooh. Beaches. River Run. Lagoon Shore. Island. It might have been an islands. I don't know, or a green plan, green plains, Grand River, Boggy Hills. That was, was that it? I don't know. Cliffside Bay, Blackwoods. These all DLC packs. Airports, DLC. Sunset Harbor. I have so many, di so many PLC. Green cities. Okay, but how much? How much though? Buy city skylines. Hunting creator pack. Three nineteen. Oh, wow. Whoa. Never mind. Three hundred dollars. Well, six dollars for this one. We'll see. I'll think about that one for six bucks. Natural. The Dust Bowl. That's cool. Frosty Rivers. Okay, where should we go? Uh, should we try, like, doing, like, a more industrial vibe? Like, doing, like... Like, an oil or an ore industry. What is this? Farming resources. Forestry. Amount of water. Ore. Oh. Any, that one doesn't even have any oil. Could do the Lagoon Shore. I kind of like this one, like on the coast, like San Rico. Oh. I think this is the one, San Rico. Left hand traffic, no. Custom map. Basic tropical. Suitable area for building 56%. Not much, but we'll do it. San Rico. Alright. Let's start off. City. Let's take a gander. Dude, that looks like a fucking sperm. <laughs> ah! Yo. New city kills! Welcome in! Bro. I don't know where Sperm Lake starting off strong. <laughs> um. 
Okay, I don't know where to start. I don't have any resources. Do we have to unlock everything again? Okay, it's okay. It's okay. We're educated people now. We're educated people now. I can't even get a dirt road. How do, how do you, how does one start <laughs> City Skylines? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, the fact, how, wait, we should probably, we should definitely like connect these. Oh, I mean, shit. Need a waterfront location on sperm length. You know what? I think that's going to be our first order of business is to expand out that way. Oh, okay. Thank fuck. There we go. Okay. Don't need this. Thank God. Okay. So we are going to continue this. Right here. We get, can we check the water flow? Nope. Just traffic. Okay. We'll make it curve, actually. Curving to the right today. There we go. Cause like my goal is to have like an intercoastal highway, right? Cause I'm I'm thinking big picture, bro. I'm thinking I'm a mayor. I'm an experienced city planner at this point. Okay. I know what the fuck I'm doing. All right, I'm a professional, okay? So we're gonna build this intercoastal highway <laughs> and it's gonna sweep through majestically next to Sperm Lake. <laughs> and then we're gonna have like an offshoot where it'll like kind of like go in there. This is gonna be a little expensive to maintain at first. But I think it's going to be worth it, uh, like, in the end. In the end! Okay, see? So it's going to... That's a little too close, I think. Uh, we're going to come right the back over here. Do you, all these have a sidewalk? Oh, thank God. I do not want to have a sidewalk. I do not want to encourage cyclists. Another swoopity swoop. Nice. Uh, too tight. Pause. Yeah, I know the game is fucking paused. Very good. Very good. Nice. Look at that. So that way, automatically, we're keeping that flow of traffic just going around. We can always expand the highway too um, and give them like a true two lane experience going either way. But for now, this this is gonna work. It's gonna work like a little lasso, you know. 
Um, and then, so we're going to have true exit ramps as well. Look at this, dude. It's, I'm telling you. We're getting professional. So we're going to come here. Go straight off. should be able to just kind of slide off that way. They should be slowing up before the ramp either way. Keep an eye on what's going on around you. Hashtag you found me. Build elevated roads with the page up key. You know what? Eventually this will all be underground. It'll be like an underground perimeter. But like for now, we're just going to leave it as is. I'm going to take some notes out of Chris's book. Let's see, okay. And Two lane for now. We I eventually want to expand this one up to a four lane. We'll do this for now. This might be terrible. I don't know. How the fuck do you build an actual exit? Well, normally the highway goes over. Hold on. Think about this like a city plan. to be big brain. Bro. I'm over here making overpasses and shit. So professional already. Okay, so then this is what I was gonna do. The one way. Yo! Yo! That's a highway! That's like a legit fucking highway. Oh my god, bro. See, so we could do like a second road around. Mm. Should we have the highway come in on this side? Or should we make the other, like the exit highway? Like, kind of wrap this, and then we'll have, like, another bridge. I think that's what we'll do. But we're going to get, like, your, uh, we're going to get uh, a little residential area over here started. So that way, Kells, you can get uh, some neighbors. Enjoy uh, that just a little bit. 
that. House is on the hills. start and as far as water flow it looks like water is flowing down this way so we're gonna go ahead and pop our residential first residential area right there just a couple houses right here nice little neighbor neighborhood area Concord Street, this is gonna be a good one there. But... Nice. Right next to the water. Gonna tell you, down here, the sperm is gonna be just shitting. <laughs> it's nice that we have a lake right here though. That means this is gonna be perfect so we can build a dam like right here and have our shit just going off right here. Works out perfect. These are gonna be some nice houses. I mean, this is gonna be like top tier real estate. Oh my god, dude, it looks just so legit. Nice, we got our first move ins. Sweet. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and pipe this to. Right under the street. Pretty damn realistic, if you ask me. Nice. And so we're gonna have water pumps from the lake. Ah, yeah, that's perfect. So we're gonna have it pumping. All the way right here. I don't need to build it on that way. So they have water and then electricity. Coal, we can't see the natural resources on coal. But those do, because those do run out. They do run out of coal. Like, it, it literally, like, takes up the ore out of the uh, ground. Uh, which is something that I did not know. Um, let's see. Where is our wind going? Oh, I, dude, we need the advanced wind turbine. 2,400 population? Dude, as soon as we get it. That's actually pretty worth it. How much did it cost? 12,000? So it's double the cost. Like three times the upkeep cost per week, but double the output. Eh, it's kind of worth it. So we put it here, right by the lake. We'll eventually move this. Uh, Should have water and power now. Uh, pumping station does not have power. There it is. I was waiting for that. I was like, it's not gonna work forever. So eventually, we're gonna make this lake a more like actual residential area. But for now, we just kind of gotta. 
get some people in here. Oh yeah, they need sewage too. and start our commercial district over here. Hmm. Should have made this a little bit bigger. It's okay. It's okay. Alright. Why do we have no people? I literally gave him sewage. Oh, no power to zoom. God damn. It's not like I was running a very successful city or anything. I might or may or may not have died off. They're not producing a lot of shit right now. Doesn't seem like anybody's taking a dump. That's such a nice little coastal area, bro. Shopping right over here. I think this is how we should keep all of our cities in this area, like just low, low density, low maintenance. Just they're gonna enjoy their time over here. right here. Nice. See, I think that's what I got away from in the last one. Was like respecting the topography. You know, or something like that. The distance or the difference. The different spaces that everybody needs. As long as there's good, like, transportation from this area, then they're good on uh, industry, I would think. What do you mean? Need power? Don't you have neighbors? I'm not building industry right by them. in the fancy villas. Urban areas offer citizens the permanent houses move into hide and see residential and attract young adults especially. Oh, maybe that's why I had like an aging population. I didn't have like a balance of like the two types of uh, things. Small stores and cozy boutiques offer citizens a place to spend their money. Low density commercial zones can provide the necessities for the nearby low density residential areas, okay. High density commercial buildings are department stores and supermarkets that offer citizens a wide variety of spending possibilities that can serve a large number of customers so they are ideal for high density residential areas. Industry uses a water a lot of water and pollution, or and produces and produces ground pollution to its surroundings. Be sure to place industrial zones a safe distance from any residential areas. Okay. 
Okay. Where's our budget at? Dude, we don't have taxes or anything. Just on water right now. God damn. Okay. This is good. This is a good little start. We're gonna build this out just a little bit more, and like really establish our ourselves. Go ahead, Jim, and shower. Talk to you later. Bro, thank you for stopping in, brother. I appreciate it, and uh, soon enough, we'll have another region named after you, so I'll keep you in the loop on it. Um, but thank you again, bro. Let's see. I'm going to kind of keep this square. I, I'm trying to learn from my mistakes, you know, from last time. Much love. Much love, brother. Thank you. And new follow. Pay me when you're alive. Dude, I got you. Dude, of course. Yeah, Sunday. Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Sunday's always a good day for some streaming. But, dude, I think I uh, might, might be doing a little gunfight stream here in a minute. Uh, potentially. Um, I'm definitely going to be uh, switching over to play some gunfight. Uh, but I don't know a hundred percent if we're gonna be live necessarily for it um, let's see I think we're just gonna expand the industrial area over here keep it rocking as is what do you mean you don't have enough power oh they now that we actually have industry we need power you just bring it up casual Making a building historical? Yeah, I'm good. I would like them to continue to evolve. Uh, please. <laughs> Let's see, we could... I don't want to put more industrial over here, but I kind of have to. power grid at least I don't want to put people's houses too close to a lot of industrial though you know what I mean like we could put some houses over here ice cube factory of course naturally factory another ice cube factory they really need ice cubes over here there's a high demand for ice cubes apparently <laughs> but okay well our new city is looking good we got 158 people here uh we need to build some more houses um but that is all good 
Get another house on the corner right there. Another one right there. Another one right there. Another one right there. There. Boom. Look at that. And then we'll put a little commercial buffer. We'll put a little commercial area over here too. Well, no, we can keep them separated. Roads now have names. Nice. <clears throat> okay, so we need to go ahead. I think we need to go ahead and build our exit highway. We're going to go ahead and build the exit highway. And I think that's going to be the stream because we've been going for almost two hours now. Um, so a little bit longer than I would have liked, but we're still, we're chilling. Bro. I'm having a good time. Let's see. Going this way, and then it's gonna come back in over this way to leave out over here. Okay, I think I have the vision in my head. Of money. I forgot about the upkeep cost of the roads. We're definitely like pre pre hyping our infrastructure for sure. Those corner buildings built in. Damn, I forgot about that. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we know how to make money. So at least making money is not the issue. But, hmm. That brings an interesting situation. So I was just gonna... Oh, wait, no, this... Dude, I fucked up already. This was supposed to be coming back the opposite way on it. I hate how that was. We really do not have a lot of money right now. Alright, but we do have a demand for residential, so let's get these fuckers in here. I don't think I want to put anybody's house over there. 
a little commercial to block them out. Alright. Oh god. And they need more power. Alright, so we're gonna set our budget correctly. Should be good. Once we get 2,400 people in here, I'm putting an advanced warning turbine in. I'm vent one turbine. But until then. Oh, and these. Anyways, these people complaining about not enough electricity, shut up. Alright, I'm going to leave it here for now uh, at our new city of 370 people. That's it, as that a small city. Uh, Tis but a small hamlet. Um, but yeah, I'm going to save here. Let's see, what is our new city going to be called? Uh, San Rico. Nice. Save. Perfect. All right. Awesome. Thank you guys so much for joining, as always. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.